everybody, this isn't Esme. Hello everyone and welcome to this Esme's barn tour in Minecraft. Now obviously I am not this Esme so I had to watch a lot of videos to be able to try and replicate her barn or stables I should say uh, as best as I could in Minecraft and things aren't exactly spot on because well it's Minecraft but that doesn't matter because I think I've got as close as I can possibly get. Now before you ask I am using mods all of which will be linked in the description below the text pack is also linked um, and all great things like that so I am on a single player world so unfortunately you cannot join to see this barn but who knows things are happening and who knows things are just things are happening um i just wanted to say that channel memberships are now open the two tiers are super piney which is 1.99 a month and the top tier is legendary piney which is 3.99 a month coming with all sorts of amazing perks including a discord perk and all sorts of great things like that so if you want to do click the little join button just to check out the perks and if you would like to support me feel free to join the channel so without any further ado we're going to get on with this tour so um what i've noticed is uh, i didn't do anything else other than the actual stables just because i didn't want to be a creep and like try and figure out like where her house was and like what was inside so i just focused on the bomb which we see quite a lot so um i believe this area oh no it's raining um i believe this area is uh, all gravel and i think this is where she usually parks the trailer so just did kind of a lead up i did notice that all down here is just grass so that's what I tried to do here is the hedge that is to the right hand side now I made it a bit bushier um, and it doesn't look exactly like it but I think it's a pretty good representation also I hate using these fences I don't like using the vanilla fences for um, kind of fencing in areas I tend to do something a bit bigger a bit more artistic but these were the closest things I could get to what they look like in the videos so I ended up using them anyway so we get to the main kind of quad area so this is actually a retextured jungle door to look uh, more fence and I am aware <laughs> that it doesn't actually line up but it's the closest thing to real life so I went with it so this is where she does most of the tacking up this is where the horses and donkeys come in um, so let's just address the stable so inside the stable now I really wanted to have the kind of I didn't want to have doors I wanted to put sort of the the like stall guard things I think they are uh, but unfortunately it means I have to break in every single time that I uh, enter the stable so um, Esme always talks about how she puts the shavings at the back and underneath the mat is kind of at the front because it's all soft and squishy um, so I definitely followed that uh, I think I spread it out a little bit too much but honestly I really like the way this uh, is retail yellow terracotta I really like the way it looks and um, for lighting I just put glowstone and put some carpet over and um, this retextured glass looks really cool and also Queasy was saying that she doesn't have bars on the front I'm pretty sure she does from the videos I saw she did um, but do correct me if I'm wrong I'm more than happy to correct things but yeah so this is basically the stall design so this would be Casper's stall this one is Mickey's stall so it's exactly the same I just copied pasted it and this is the donkey stall so let me just break in here again um inside oh i've been replacing it with the wrong kind of carpet cool um so inside okay it looks a bit more messy i think um and it is the larger stall because obviously three donkeys stay inside um i definitely probably spread out the shavings a little bit too much but we're going with it here is the hay nets i watched her um night routine and i noticed she put them up here so i thought it would be nice to kind of spice things up a bit um I realize I say that a lot, but I'm going to say it again uh, because it adds a little bit of deco to the uh, this kind of blandish looking stall. But I do like the way that it looks, so I left it there. So one of the most interesting things is probably the tack room. So I tried to get it as close to the real thing as possible. So inside here, yes, there is a lot of fairy lights. So I watched her tack room tour and I got as close to it as I possibly could in Minecraft. Um, so these are the different uh, boxes that she 
use this to keep the horse's stuff in. Then we have the halter rack. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't individually color um, the halters different colors to match up with the boxes, but I think this is pretty close. Um, over here, we also have the kind of cabinet. So this is the one that I filled. This has her boots and these are the ear bonnets. She also has like helmet covers, but I didn't have anything that retextured the same. So I just kind of left that the same. And um, we do have one uh, measly light bulb in here, but I always felt that it never actually quite filled up the room with light enough. And while we have the window at the back, uh, I just put in loads of uh, fairy lights because you know what? Why not? Fairy lights make your life so much happier. So I put loads in. Uh, this was probably the most difficult a uh, bit to do because of the fact that the saddle racks I am aware are um, raised and they're actually hanging off of the wall. Um, I only had standing saddle racks so that's what I put in and obviously they don't have the colour coordination that she usually has. Same for the bridles, this would be a bridal rack but I cannot put actual bridles on here. Unfortunately I did put a bunch of rosettes up though because I did notice in her videos that she did have rosettes up on the wall um, and of course I had to put in the sink and kind of workbench. Um, I couldn't really do much in the sense of stocking things up so yeah that's basically everything for the tack room it was it was so much fun using the shulker boxes as kind of storage lockers I think that was really cool um other than that it's pretty bland there was a lot of stuff I couldn't implement into this room because it just doesn't fit in Minecraft and there was nothing that was exactly the same so I kind of just left out also put a horseshoe on the top because I thought that was absolutely adorable um now before I get comments saying that she actually has three storage areas and one of them is used for the golf cart. I did originally put three uh, different rooms in but it ended up looking really bulky and it didn't look um, quite as close to the real sort of layout that I wanted so I ended up taking it out because I don't think I remember seeing a tour of the inside of the kind of garage area but I do know that she had like a black golf cart kind of tractor thing so I just parked that out here. Now this is actually um, the crayfish V vehicle mod. It's super cool. If you guys do have a world that you want to implement mods in, I would definitely recommend that. But in here is the feed room. So, um, I got as close to it, I think, as physically possible. I did add a few extra things that weren't in the tour. But, um, over here we have her kind of workbench. So in here she puts different, like, uh, things TM. <laughs> and, uh, she d has different kind of storage units. I know underneath, uh, of her workbench is actually the feed bins but uh, that's not quite how this works here and I can't actually fit anything underneath there which is a bit of a shame but that was honestly the close looking thing I could get. Up here is her storage units that she puts the winter rugs in and I just absolutely love using shock boxes because they look so freaking colourful and they're actually usable so I can't reach these because there's actually a block above it but if you were trying to decorate your uh, barn and make it look really colourful shock boxes are definitely the way to go. Now she has different um, tools hanging up and unfortunately this was the best I could get but uh, honestly it's pretty close I have to say. So she does actually have a shelving unit and it has different like um, items and buckets and stuff. I just put, uh, so these are actually from the placeable items mod uh, and they're super useful. I know this isn't exactly what she has up but it's pretty close. Um, I knew in the corner she had some hay kind of scattered about for easy access and I am aware there were different feed bags and bins and stuff like that about the place so this cooler actually looked like a grooming kit so I popped that in the corner along with a bucket and can I just say I do not know where for the life of me uh so she has like a background that she does kind of talking things on and it has like horseshoes and fairy lights I couldn't figure out where that was I didn't know whether it was in her feed room or her tack room or her house so I just put it in the feed room because I couldn't fit the different things that she had in the actual feed room so I ended up just putting it here and honestly it doesn't look half bad so I'm really happy with how these two came out oh and also these are usable light switches which I think is awesome uh, so that is it for the main quad area I really like it I couldn't figure out if her roof was slanted or not because of the fact it's corrugated iron it was difficult to tell by the um, kind of 
perspective. She either had a drone shot from directly above or she was uh, too far below so I couldn't actually see. So I've just made it flat and I I did <laughs> originally make it slanted but it looked really bad because it's, uh, it's Minecraft and obviously I didn't have any corrugated iron but it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how this um, area turned out. So I'm going to hop over here. Um, I did notice that she puts a kind of poop cart kind of wheelbarrow thing um, out here so she kind of mucks out the stalls and brings the wheelbarrow over and dumps it over the fence here and just pops it in here so this is why I put this here um, and of course I did show you guys the golf cart earlier so round here now figuring out perspectives because she doesn't do an actual barn tour so I had to kind of piece things together from the videos I saw so it took me a little bit but I finally figured out where the arena was so after you come through here the arena is actually here now if you're wondering what this block is it's grey concrete powder now in England we have to use a kind of sand rubbery mixture now don't quote me on that because I don't actually know what it's made of uh, but it's kind of a grey um, kind of sandy rubbery uh, substance so I had to put that down instead of sand I do usually use sand uh, I know Queasy likes to use kind of brown blocks uh, but I figured this was the most realistic and of course I have her fencing again I really don't like this type of fencing in Minecraft I always think it should be higher than uh, I believe that's like 1.3 blocks so it's impossible to jump over but it's still just it looks too small if you ask me I wish they were a little higher but it's as close to the kind of pattern and colour I could get, so that's what I went with. And obviously all around here we've just kind of got decoration, and I noticed that there's quite a lot of overgrowth near her arena, so that's where I put that. I am aware that her house is like over that way, but of course I didn't delve into building that. So, over here, now she has this massive paddock, and I think I even made it a little bit too big, um, but... I don't think the horses or donkeys go in here specifically to graze. I think they're actually in that section. Uh, but she does always walk through here. And she looked like she had cross-country jumps set up. Small ones, but co cross-country jumps nevertheless. So I set up some basic obstacles. Obviously, I didn't try and do it um, exactly like how she had them set up. But I'm pretty happy with how they came out. I think they look pretty realistic for Minecraft, if you ask me. So I think I did make the section a little bit too big but I know that in real life it is pretty big anyway so I did notice in her videos that the fencing on the sides are different to the fencing down below so uh, this fencing is basically uh, oak planks and barrier blocks down oh no I broke it uh, barrier blocks down the bottom and uh, then a kind of uh, a carpet to make it almost look like an electrical fence uh, I couldn't quite see because I don't believe uh, I was able to watch anything where she goes all the way down so I kind of was going off on a whim here but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out so here this is probably one of my favorite sections so I did watch a video where she's going through this muddy section here and I haven't got any kind of mud anywhere else but I thought it was cool because I imagine that they would be trekking through here quite a lot so uh, that's why I made this section kind of muddy so here you get to meet the horses and the donkeys now please bear in mind that um, white horses all have one coat and donkeys all have one coat so I basically just have uh, the same color donkey and different names because I couldn't individually uh, texture them so over here we have Toby then we have over in the corner we have Willow and it's starting to rain how very English um, and then over here we have I believe this is Mickey yeah here's Mickey I know he's smaller and he has a pink nose he doesn't have a gray nose but again I couldn't texture them and of course finally we have Bruno Bruno's actually from the um, Mo Creatures mod instead of the base vanilla game uh, I decided just to kind of change things up a bit I guess uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it because they always have this kind of glitchy health bar up the top but um, that's fine I'm just gonna go with it and of course we have Casper so down here what's most interesting is this kind of it's like the, the shed that they keep the horses in when they're um, in the paddock now I couldn't figure out if it was three stalls or two so I just went with two um, and inside this pretty standard kind of box stall I did notice that they did seem to have a slanted roof so I went with that this time and and um, I can't remember if she actually put a hay net in here, but I put it in anyway. And it does have the working lights, so the switches here to switch things on and off. And um, these are text retextures, birch doors. I really like them for this uh, particular build here. And um, yeah, it's pretty standard inside here. So 
Honestly, the, what took... So, it's not, like, a massive build. Oh, and here's the water trough that I noticed she had. Um, it's not, like, a massive build, but it's so difficult when... When you kind of make decisions on your own and you're deciding where you want things and what you want things to look like, it's one thing and you can kind of look at references. But with this, I had to strictly follow what I saw in her videos and I tried to make sure I was watching really up-to-date videos and uh, getting everything as close to uh, the actual thing as possible. But um, this took absolutely ages. So um, I'm actually going to show you something. Over here, I sectioned off. So this was originally going to be how big the area was. But I sectioned this off because I was like, no, that's way too big. Uh, a similar thing happened over here, but I got rid of the trees. So it's actually really difficult. It's a lot of trial and error, to be fair. Um, kind of figuring out what things, first of all, what things she has in her barn. Uh, what things you can put in Minecraft and what you kind of have to substitute or work around with um but i really enjoyed building it because uh it was kind of interesting to see how things correlate uh from minecraft to real life because this was probably the closest thing i've ever gotten to a real life build and you know what i'm pretty happy with how it turned out now you may notice a couple things are wrong or different or missing um feel free to let me know because i'm more than happy to try and fix things so this is the one episode where i'm not adding your individual horses because of the fact that um you know, technically, I don't live here. This Esme lives here. So I can't start sticking in horses, uh, uh, you know, out a pro of nothing. So, um, but do not worry. I do have another build coming up very, very soon. And if you guys want your horses in that build, do comment a little bit about them. So put their name, put their breed, put their coat color, and you can even put a bit about their personality if you wish, and also their gender if you would like. So that is it for this build i'm so happy um and if you don't know who this as me is definitely check her out she's a very positive equestrian youtuber and uh, i'm very much behind that so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i will see you in the next video Bye bye